Welcome back everyone to video number seven in our Let's Play series of Motorsport Manager. Uh, if you remember back to our previous race, we had our best finish ever and our first ever podium uh, to really top things off. So if we check in our email here, we see we've got a couple of, couple of items. We're still using quite a bit of the car. 33 and 42% respectively. So we really need to have our reliability as high as possible. Uh, we've got an, an interview request and then we got a thank you from Sergio for the support in the last race. Let's see what we've got in our interview. Let's say we must be delighted for the podium. All right, so let's see what we want to go here. We've got uh, an absolutely it's wonderful. And then we got on the other extreme is like, no, nope, I'm not happy unless we're dominating. <laughs> and all right, so we're going to go ahead and go with, of course, it's a great result and we're happy about it. All right, then um, Ariel. And she is. All right, I'm sure she'll be back. Soon we're going to try to keep her morale high, but honestly, I think we're going to have to replace her if we're going to make a serious bid in not only this season, because this season is mostly about learning and trying to get pieces in place for next season. But I think if we're going to go for the remainder of this season and go really hard next season in order to the, in order to uh, really finish in the top three or four, uh, definitely in the top half of the team standings, then I think we're going to have to work uh, much harder and probably replace her in order to do that. All right, so we've got our car repair is almost complete. Okay, that's excellent. And there's our email for that. Now that gives us an opportunity to come in here and look and see what they're working on. Uh, let's see, anything with reliability problems, let's see, 100, 100, uh, 70 on brakes. That's probably not a good idea. Let's see, let's work on increasing that. Uh, Cause you can see here, the performance is maxed out. Uh, we're not quite maxed out there, a long way from it there, but 39 out of possible 39. And so what we would need to do is develop a new part with an even higher top end limit like we did here. So let's see what else we've got that might need working on. Uh, let's also go ahead and 35, let's see, let's go ahead and work on that. So we want to work on those two items. I know they won't necessarily be ready for the next race, but we need to get, since we don't have a ton of money, um, and that doesn't look to be increasing in a huge way in the near term, let's go ahead and see if we can get our reliability up to make sure that we don't have to spend any more time in the pits than is absolutely necessary. Okay, if we come back over to our drivers, um, again, we're looking at scouting some new drivers. We got one here, uh, a very good driver but it was a little bit too expensive for us to do right now. And the reason for that is if you look here at the bottom, the cost to break her contract is basically one and a half million. And we're not near that right now. Uh, well, we're near it, but we're not, uh, if we did that, it would, after the, including the next race, it would take, you know, all of our money. So we're, I'm really hoping that one of these next couple of drivers here will work out and give us a chance to build up a little bit of money in the meantime and so on. Let's take a look at our sponsors and you can see we're really getting down to the point where we're gonna have to start renewing some sponsors. We've got one race remaining here, a couple races remaining here and one race remaining there. So let's go ahead and hit continue and let our, our guys work on the parts and hopefully get things increased as much as we can. Okay, we've got a new email and this is Okay, so look like we've got some news there in case we're wanting to try to poach some guys from other teams, which we are not looking at doing because we do not want to buy out any contracts right now if we can help it. Again, other than maybe a driver, if we can find a good one. Okay, let's go ahead and continue once again. And it looks like the performance work is going to be done here very soon. Okay, we keep continue going. And here's our scouting report that's going to be finished. Okay, we're going to keep going because, again, we don't really have the ability just yet to sign anybody. Okay, let's see what we got. Scouting report on Sophie. She would be one of the top drivers. Excellent. On top of that, she has some potential. Let's go. Let's take a look at Sophie. It looks like both of them are done. 
that's what the other email was for. Okay, performance work is, oh, let's go ahead and improve our car in the factory right quick. All right, let's see, what do we get? Oh, I do want both of these to be done. And that should help us out quite a bit. So we got 100% durability there, 80% um, durability there, so that's good. And 83% there, and finally, oh, only 64%. So we want to improve the suspension next, if at all possible. Okay, let's see what the engine is. Um, actually, the engine, we can actually swap out because, oh, never mind. I was hoping that we'd be good there, but two days before the race, so both of these will be done by that time. So we can head back to scouting. That's We'll keep the plan in place. All right, let's see what we've got here. So she is three-star with about four-star possible. Marketability is pretty low at 38%, so that's not good for sponsorship, but again, a very good driver for sure, and got a few bonuses here, one permanent. Okay, let's come back out to our scouting again. Let's take a look at Raphael, and he is, oh wow, okay, so he is almost a full four star. That is excellent, and particularly for the series we're in, good feedback score, Good all around, really. Uh, the lowest thing would be adaptability, and I'm not sure what all that affects, but you can see a lot of high marks here. A pessimist, that's not good. So negative 10 morale, but uh, also passionate. That would save us some money. Desired earnings is $100,000 less than, I would assume, a normal almost four-star driver. Okay, let's go ahead, and I like this idea of going after him, but just in case, let's take one more look at Sophie. Yeah, they're basically the same age, 28 and 29. So I like the idea of getting him in here. He's a, a better driver right now. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Let's go ahead and approach the driver. Now, if you remember, we don't quite have enough money to buy out a contract right now, but I'm hoping that this will take a little, little time so we can buy ourselves at least enough time to complete one more race and hopefully uh, get some things done. Okay, he's going to want quite a bit of money because he is a very high-end driver. So I'm going to go ahead and just pump these up because if he's able to get us some, some great finishes, then that would be worth it. A long-term contract, yeah, definitely want to do that. Let's see, signing fee isn't very important. Okay, uh, that's great. And let's see, it's not that important. We'll go ahead and try just 52,000 because remember, we're not going to have that much money left. And let's see. Uh, I want to bump this up a little bit because I really want these guys to, let's see, he says it's not very important. So we're going to keep it right there for now. And if we have to bump it up a little bit later on, we will. Uh, looks like we've got some patience to deal with here. Maybe we'll get at least a second chance if he doesn't accept these terms. Uh, we're going to give him equal status and a chance to earn a number one spot. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and send that. Again, we're hoping that if he doesn't accept our number one proposal, then maybe uh, we can get by with a secondary proposal and and get him as our our second driver slot because he would be an excellent addition and I believe really increase our performance level. Okay, let's go ahead and continue on. Okay, and we'll get up through this. See, this is the tier one guys. Okay, so we've got a proposal email here. Oh, wow. So he is, he accepted that proposal. Wow, that is huge. Now, we've got a problem. Okay, deadline is nine days. How long before the race? Three days. So we've got to earn some money in order to have a shot here. Man, I wish I could go ahead and take care of this right now. Uh, oh, wait. Actually, I can. 1.295, 1.4. I think we're going to take a chance here. Why not? Let's go ahead and sign our new driver, and we're going to have to release one, which, of course, is going to be Ariel. All right, so this is going to take up basically all of our remaining funds down to 59000 But now we have two very good drivers, 
nearly four star and a three with a possibility of getting to four stars and no money. So a very interesting turn of events. Of course, she is not happy. And we've got our new driver and a press release. Okay, so let's go ahead and continue. And let's get ready. Okay, World Motorsport, that's the Tier 1 series. We don't care about them. Okay, let's go ahead and get things done. Reliability work is done. And now we're ready for our next race. But before we can do that, we have to come in and set some things up for our... Nope, I do not want to do that because we actually have some other work, if I remember correctly, that needs to be done on reliability. Let's see, what was it? We've got our gearbox there is at 80. That's pretty good. Oh, here we go. I wanted to do this. And then we'll go back to the gearbox as well. Okay. So I think we're ready there. Select a sponsor. Uh, we're going to go big here. That's 75000 You know, we're going to lose money if we don't make it, but we got to start taking some chances here. Let's, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and fix some parts. Now, I'm not going to just settle for Raphael having a, an inferior car. That's just not going to happen. So we're going to see if we can't move some things around here for him. Uh, we are actually going to give him this engine. Of course, that's going to make Sergio mad, but he's just going to have to get over it. And let's see. I'm okay there. And I guess I'm okay here. Okay. So we'll go ahead with this. Everything. I just wish this reliability number was higher. Uh, but other than that, things are looking good. And hopefully the better engine will give an opportunity for Raphael to really show us what he's got. Okay. So he's content for the time being. All right. And it's time to race. So we're here in Munich for the Grand Prix. I like the feedback level that we've got here for each driver. So high levels of feedback. It should give us a chance to hopefully come up with a good setup. All right, let's go ahead and start with uh, Sergio and give him a good setup. Now I'm going to choose some, some numbers here based on some previous races, and we're going to see if we can't get this. Uh, let's see, about, how about right, about right there, right on the edge. And let's see, leave those as is. And let's see, what do we want to do here? Let's go ahead and have you use some shorter gearing, get us more toward the acceleration end of this scale. And let's see. Okay, let's reduce the stiffness here and get us toward the oversteer portion. Okay, so that'll give us toward the edges, but not too far. And tire choice, let's see what our forecast is. Looks like there might be a touch of rain, but nothing too bad. Hopefully it'll stay that way. Okay, we're going to use the soft tires and confirm there for him for our second setup and our first race with Mr. Rodriguez here. Let's go ahead and give him a little bit more. We're going to go 18 and say about 28. A little bit higher downforce level for him. That way between the two drivers, hopefully we can get a good idea of what's going on. Uh, let's see, gear ratios... Uh, not quite down as far as we put Sergio. So we're going to go about right there. And suspension stiffness. Uh, let's see. We had, I believe Sergio was down here. So we're going to stay right here on him. Let's see. What is this? Yeah, I'll tell you what. Let's go ahead and a little bit more. That'll give him a little bit of difference between them. Hopefully we can get a good setup between them. Okay. Let's go ahead and get started in practice. And then, based on our feedback in practice, we'll make some adjustments and hopefully, all right, let's go ahead and get our clock started quicker than I wanted to. Uh, let's go ahead and send him out. Tire choice, stint, one lap, that would be excellent. Go ahead and get you going. Stint, one lap, tire choice, we already know what that is, and send you out as well. All right, they're going out together. Hopefully that will be okay. And we'll get a chance to see how they perform on the track. Oh, it looks like Rodriguez has already made the pass. 
Okay, here's the, the rain that we saw, but it doesn't look like it's going to last too long. The wetness on the track looks like it's going to go down once again pretty quick. Okay, perfect gear ratios. Boy, I like to hear that. Okay, that's exactly what I want to hear. Okay, let's see what other kind of... Boy, Rodriguez is, is really putting some distance here on Sergio. That's... Wow, that's making me feel good about our signing and the fact that we went broke doing it. <laughs> so... All right, downforce feels bang. Okay, wow. Uh, more good feedback. All right, feels like we got the right aero setup. So both of these aero setups feeling good to the drivers. I'm liking what I'm hearing there. Okay, let's see what we get. Uh, how about the wet? What else on the track? Okay, looks like we're fine with the weather. All right, gear ratios look good. Handling feels great. Okay, we're... We appear to be working on all cylinders here. Okay, I'm not terribly worried about our position as far as speed goes in this in this particular practice session. And the reason is simple. Uh, and it's because on these tires, generally it takes a lap or two uh, before the tires get up to temp good and you can really get a great feel. Okay, let's see what we've got. Downforce, both of these are feeling great. Great handling here. Good, good, and good. Okay, so... Let's see what the great handling is. Print medium feedback. That's good. We want the most feedback we can get. Okay, so great feedback is right at, even basically with the D here. And then good on the speed balance with the E, okay? So I wish we had a way to copy setups over to between drivers. That would be so much easier, but um, not quite what we're what we're seeing here okay so we had it at the d here and let's gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and let's see i'm gonna go a little bit but not quite all the way i'm hoping that there's a middle ground here for, we can see excellent okay good on that and we're gonna go ahead and give it a couple of notches there uh, downforce, let's go up 17 and 27. All right, that gives me a little bit of a change here. And we're going to send it back out on a new set of tires. All right, you take off. All right, so here the handling is great. This is great. Uh, speed balance is good. I'm going to go ahead and come back a couple of notches there and the handling uh, let's see what do we get let's go down one there and see if we can get to excellent we've already got two greats and that's what I'm looking for uh, tire choice put on a new set okay it doesn't look like there's any rain in the area that we should worry about and send out okay let's see who gets done with our pit stops earlier looks like it's going to be Rodriguez all right, so we've got some good setups to start with, some very good feedback, and I'm excited about that. And actually, I wouldn't mind if we could get a third stint here for these guys, if possible. Uh, we're in no danger of running out of tires, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, it looks like the grip, you can see the grip level is increasing on the track. No rain that looks imminent. So we're in good shape so far. Let's see what kind of feedback we get from our drivers. All right, handling feels good. Uh, let's see. Speed balance seems to have gotten worse. Okay, so we've, we've jumped the fence, it looks like, here and gone uh, either too far or gone the wrong direction. All right, I'll take the feedback either way. Okay, gear ratios. All right. I like it when we get this kind of excitement from our drivers. And we've got some more rain coming in. Okay, not terrible. Aero setup feels fantastic. Uh, actually, I can't remember. Did we change his arrow? I don't think so, but I can't remember. All right, so we'll have to see that as it comes through. All right, arrow is feeling great. That uh, boy, do I love to, to hear comments like that. Again, the better the setup, the faster these guys will run in the race, and the better we're, chance we're going to have. Okay, looks like we're not going to have an opportunity to run three stints 
But if you'll notice, look here at this feedback. Great, excellent, and great. Great, excellent, and okay. So we went the wrong direction here, but boy, do we have some great feedback to go back on. All right, next up, we'll be having uh, an opportunity to, as we wait for these 11 cars to finish, we'll have a chance to compare these setups and then choose the absolute best option for these guys in the race. All right, as we prepare for the race, uh, looking at the setups, the two setups, you can see here 95% optimal balance. That's hard to beat here. Great, excellent, and great. So I think I'm going to use this setup and hopefully we don't have any rain coming. It doesn't look like it. And it's projecting, you see here, the tire grip to go way up. So we're gonna go ahead and set our tire choice there. Fuel options maxed out. Okay, and we're gonna confirm there. And then over here, you know, 90 and 87, which are very good numbers, but I think I'm gonna go ahead and use the setup from Sergio. It's hard to beat that. I know the drivers probably aren't exactly the same, uh, and that's okay, but I'm going to go ahead and use what seems to have worked uh, for Sergio, and we're going to go ahead and, and take care of that. Okay, so let's see. Tell you what, I am going to change this a little bit, because it's hard to, for me to get off of that excellent too terribly far. All right, so... Now our tire choice, we're gonna get on the super softs and maximum amount of fuel. All right, so you can see here, now is our opportunity to look. We've got six laps of fuel that they're estimating in a 15 lap race. If I can stretch this out a little bit, I should be able to make the fuel last. Uh, so what I think I wanna do here for driver strategy, I want Raphael to go with that lower fuel burn and try to stretch this and make it on one stop. I'm going to keep Sergio on the medium, and we'll see. Sergio may need to come in for a quick splash and go toward the end of the race, but I really would love to get this sixth place or above and get that nice bonus, particularly since we're out of money. So let's go ahead and get started and see what we have got. All right, so Rafael is going to start on the pole. And the starting positions are reversed here on the grid since there's no qualifying. So that's why he's starting up front. He's very low in the points, being a brand new driver. All right, let's go ahead and speed things up. We're going to catch up with him, and hopefully he can stay somewhere close up front. I'm not expecting him to hang on to a top two or three position by any stretch. But... Uh, I expect the AI to start pitting around lap four or five for fresh tires as they really try to push hard to get maximum speed. So the better he can do, uh, is, and the same thing with Sergio, really, the better they can do, uh, the better off we'll be. Looks like Sergio is falling back. Uh, that's not good. Let's go ahead and change his strategy and have him conserve because being able to conserve, uh, we might as well since he, his speed is just no good. All right, so we're still in fourth. We're here on lap two, uh, but we've got, you can see, plenty of hungry drivers right behind waiting to pounce. All right, so we've got good straightaway speed, it looks like there. Uh, that would be the more powerful engine, I believe, doing that. Uh, so we're still in fourth here. Sergio not doing so well down in last place. But you can see on the mini map here, it looks like a conga line. Uh, so he's not terribly far off the pace necessarily. It's just that he did not get a good start for the first few laps. All right, we're finishing up lap three here. We'll see if anybody dives into the pits on this lap. Uh, doesn't look like it. But okay, a few toward the back did. And that moves Sergio up to 16th. We should see a few more pit coming up on this next lap. And that's what I'm counting on because we don't have the speed to run with these guys. So our hope for now, until we can get a much better car, our hope is, oh, we got a safety car. Okay, that's actually very good for us. Let's go ahead and conserve. Okay. And if we can conserve, this should really help with our fuel usage and tire usage. So you can see both of them, we get 66% and 68% tire wear remaining that's very good 
we still got a shot here at 2.37, 2.46. That would get us to lap seven. And I'm hoping maybe to lap eight. If we can pit on lap eight, then that would really help out. All right, but again, that's part of the fun of the game is that's assuming, of course, that things go as planned so far. It doesn't appear as though we've got any hint of rain. That's excellent. All right, tire temps are low. Of course they are. That's kind of the idea when you're driving slow. All right, so we're going to keep them on their lowest output or lowest strategy that we can for now, at least until it is time to go green again. At that point, we'll want to increase their strategy for the driving style so that they can get some more heat back in the tire because that, that tire heat is extremely low and that will hurt the tire wear. All right, so heading to garage and we'll be back there. Again, you can see in the on the mini map here, we're almost around. Let's go ahead, strategy, go back to neutral there, and here we go. All right, we're still in first right now. That's excellent. Hopefully that safety car didn't mess us up too much. Hopefully it'll be a benefit, actually. All right, we're on lap seven, and we still got plenty of fuel, so I believe it helped us out. We're running first and sixth place. All right, so we should have, to have enough left. Uh, let's go ahead and pause it right here. He is running low on fuel as we come back around, so I'm going to actually have him come into pit. Again, it doesn't appear as though we're going to get any rain anytime soon. We're going to hope that holds true and go ahead and fill him up with fuel. And wow, he's really going to have to save to do this, so I'm not sure this is going to work, but we are going to give it a shot. Okay, and then we're going to have Rodriguez here who is at the front of the pack. Looks like we're gonna make him go one more lap. Still in first, I love that. Okay, we're gonna put on the soft tires for him. And six out of seven, everything's looking good. Park condition, anything looking ragged? No, not at all. That is what I wanna see. And let's go ahead and have him pit next time by. Okay, so Sergio comes out in 18th. Not what we're looking for, but remember, the idea here is we're trying to cut out a pit stop over the rest of the field so that we can make up for what we don't have in speed with uh, less time in the pit area. Okay, so we're in the pits here. Let's see how far he drops. And he's dropping down to the bottom of the field. Okay. All right, bad pit stop there. That's, that's not what we needed for sure. But okay, we're going to deal with that. And remember, if all works out as planned, this will be our final pit stop. I'm not sure about Sergio, though. It doesn't look like he's going to make it. In fact, I am pretty sure he is not going to make it. So let's go ahead and have him, let's have him push. Because I'm going to have to come in with him. So let's go ahead and see if he can make up some, some places on the track. Uh, but I am... Pretty optimistic here about Rodriguez. So there's still hope there. Let's go ahead and burn that fuel here. Uh, we've got tire heat looks pretty good there. And he is running 14th. And coming up behind Rodriguez, in fact. Oh, wow. So now we've got a log jam here. All right. So now we're overtaking. Boy, Rodriguez really got some positions there, moved up to seven. And again, we're hoping to pick up some more positions, several more, in fact, as we try to uh, eliminate a pit stop. All right, so we got four laps remaining. All right, let's go ahead and have him come in. Four laps remaining. We're going to go ahead and put some new tires on. And... Okay. Three laps will be remaining when he comes in. We're going to put in just enough fuel. Seven seconds on the pit stop. 
And what if we try to go fast? Let's go ahead and try to go fast. All right, so let's go back to Rodriguez, who's running in fifth and is doing a good job so far. And looks like we're going to have enough fuel there. At least I hope we do. I'm sticking with the strategy, though. All right, so we'll wait in the next lap or so. They should be coming in for pit stops for that final pit stop, although they may not. All right, it's not looking good. They're not coming in for pit stops, at least not that I can see. All right, and you can see we need to finish sixth. We're in seventh right now, so we at least need, uh, well, because there's a conga line behind us here. We need, at least need a couple of people to come in for pit stops, and they are not. Okay, so they're on the same strategy we are, and we need to push, but we don't have the fuel to do so. All right, we need to, boy, it would be great if we could pick up one more position, but we're way behind on doing that. All right, we'll go ahead and crank that up. We're on the final lap. And we'll give it all she's got and at least try to hold on and maintain seventh, if nothing else. Let's hope we don't lose that. Okay, so far so good, but they are right behind us. And I'm afraid if one gets by us, then they're all going to come by. A few more corners to go. And it looks like we're going to make it. Okay, so we finished seventh. One place outside of where we need to be. And it looks like... Yep. So we got a seventh and a 17th out of that. So not quite as good and the biggest reason for that of course is because we had to pit that extra time for Sergio because his fuel just was not going to make it he was not able to save the fuel like Rodriguez was so you can see here our pitch strategy we came in we ran eight laps and seven laps as opposed to the three stops that were employed by the others and again the biggest factor there was that uh, safety car that came out man that we had a shot there, I think, on both cars, but those are the breaks. That's the way the game goes. Uh, but I'm, I'm very pleased with Rodriguez in his first start for us. Got some very nice points. Um, again, Sergio way, way down the grid, much farther than I wanted him to be. But uh, we'll do better next time. Let's see where we end up. We are now in seventh place in the team championship. That's good. Opportunity, I think, with our... Our two drivers that we currently have, I think we've got an opportunity to move up even further. Now, the bad thing is what happens to our money because <laughs> we are down to nothing. So we're going to have to try to find some sponsorship money somewhere very soon. I know we've got some sponsorships that are running out and need to be replaced. So I'm hoping there's some upfront money to go along with that. You can see we lost a little bit there, even though we were expected to finish ninth, we came in fifth, and we still lost happiness from our chairman. Not sure how that works, but I like our marketability, and it continues to increase. Our morale, small percentage there, which makes sense since we finished 17th there, but a pretty good jump up to 80% happiness now for uh, Rafael Rodriguez in his first race, so we lost money there. That is definitely not good. All right, so we had a lot riding on that particular race and things didn't work out exactly as planned. Let's take a look at our sponsors. Okay, so we do have two areas available and hopefully in our next video, we'll move forward a little bit and see that we have some offers coming in and let's get some more cash flow running into this team so we can keep improving. So that'll do it for video number seven in our Let's Play series and stay tuned for more Motorsport Manager.